gay marriage, don't get married. Not to a gay person. They're saying, we're not hurting you, but don't let us not get married. That was their point. I, we're not hurting you, are we? We're just doing what we want to do. You don't have to be gay, but we are gay. Let us be. Okay. And domestic violence, you've seen, these are all viral. I wouldn't know if I didn't see them going viral. Okay, this clip contains explicit scenes of violence. I warn you, and you'll get shocked in my presentation, a lot of shocking things. You might have seen this too, it went viral. Two minutes too. Charlie, 
And it was at that moment that I had a, an epiphany, and I went home and started crying, uh, talking to my wife. And I said, I have to make this picture. And she said, why? And I said, because I think I'm an interesting woman when I look at myself on screen. And I know that if I met myself in a party, I would never talk to her, that character, because she doesn't fulfill physically the demands that we're brought up to think we have, that women have to have in order for us to ask them out. She says, what are you saying? And I said, there's a, too many interesting women I have I have, I have, I have not had the experience to know in this life because I have been brainwashed and that was never a comedy for me. All right, he teared up, he knows. There's so much pressure for a woman to look beautiful and he wasn't that beautiful woman. Now he realized how much pressure there is. And he's part of the stereotype, saying women should look like this. He had his epiphany. See? That was not an act, okay? Compared to the other one. This is for real. Okay. But the critique of the first way, the people say we want to have women's rights to vote, equal as men. And you have the other that uh, you have political, economic, social rights. The problem was they were focused on upper class white women. So you have the original hegemony of the white male. Now the critique was this is a counter hegemony of the white rich female. So there was a third way saying, okay, what about the non-white women? So another critique of a famous author was the same thing. Although she wrote about and lived with the laboring classes, but her interview was the suburban rich women. Okay, so the critique was again, she was focusing on the white suburban women. So the third wave came and said, let's unpack the first and second wave and let's see what about indigenous women in the u.s it would be native americans in other countries it would be they are real indigenous women from the philippines who came to niu for a program what about african women they were invisible in the first and second wave what about latinas okay there's specific things. Remember, post-structural, not all women are the same. Okay? And these are more stereotypes of Asian women. Again, that's my positionality, so I know these examples. Madame Butterfly, it's awful. It's almost always a woman who is white playing the role of an Asian, made up to look like an Asian. Now it's illegal, not illegal. It's wrong, right? to paint a white person black on TV, they still do that for Asian women. They paint uh, European women to look like Asian. And with the, you know, the kinky eyes and all. It's awful. I like the music, but I hate it when they do it.
Yes. Okay. I'm guilty. I went to watch this <laughs> in Chicago. Really? <laughs> okay. If you have the Madame Butterfly, there's a different version of it. Uh, the Chinese man who plays the opera singer is the effeminate again. A Western man, very old. Asian man, either you do kung fu stereotype or you're the weak type. And you are you play the female role. This is this is the popular version of Madame Butterfly's M Butterfly. A French guy who fell in love with this Chinese guy who he thought was a woman. After a century yeah, right. of morning dreams. The red gun has emerged as a genuinely potent reactionary political force which will seize upon any excuse to justify the expulsion of all foreigners from China. Onto the cement stage, can a diplomat with a romantic vision. I, René Gallimard, have known and been loved by the perfect woman. And a performer who brought his fantasy. Goal in life 